I am the Disc Golf Guy and this is my video blog. I am joined today by Steve Dodge, the Sales and Marketing Manager of Vibram Disc Golf. How are you doing tonight, Steve? I'm doing great, Terry. Glad to have me. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We are in Marion, Ohio at the PDGA Amateur World Championships and Vibram's got a lot of good stuff going on, so let's, right, let's get right into it. Uh, well, you tell us. You had the putter. We got, we got our X-Link material, which is fantastic. We got our X-Link firm, which is just as good. And we just came out with our X-Link soft material, which has been compared to other discs by other companies. But yours is better or no? We'd have to ask Scott Kesey. Okay. So you've got all these different putters. They've been a pretty big hit. It's really cool that you guys are putting the uh, iconic logo of Vibram right here in the center of the disc. What else do you have going on? Well. This week we introduced our Vibram Proto Driver. It's temporarily called the Ascent, and uh, people are loving the way it flies. Stable to overstable. Uh, it's got a little bit smaller rim to it, so it's not real big and beefy here. Absolutely. Uh, relatively low profile. And then there again, you guys have the signature Vibram stamp right in the side of it. Why is that different from what you find in the putters in the middle? Uh, you, it, because we put a label well in here to keep the color uh, consistent. You, you don't want to put that extra weight in the middle of a driver because it uh, causes the disc to slow down its speed and become overstable too quickly. We put the weight towards the edge, we get a nice finish to our flights. So with all that being said, obviously you know what's going on with these DSs that are getting produced. Who's doing all the research and design and technology? Who's doing all that for Vibram? Is that solely your job or do you have you and a team of guys doing I, that? I work with a team of guys at Vibram. Um, I would like to say I head them up, but I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I'm the marketing guy. Um, but there's a guy there who's in charge of uh, product development, Chris Fabro. Okay. I work with him. Uh, I work with our chemist, Aaron Alla, and then uh, a team of other guys. There's a truck. There's a truck. We don't work with them. No. They don't work with us here either. They just want to get in the Disc Golf Guy video blog, apparently. So you've got all these guys working. Vibram, how did Vibram get? involved with disc golf. It's a pretty big name, pretty big company, and a lot of people have always said, oh, we want to see all these big names and big companies so that disc golf can get bigger, and now here we have somebody jumping on board that's not from already inside our sport. How did that relationship start? Um, a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work. Um, basically, I'd, I'd pitched about a dozen different companies to become title sponsor of the Maple Hill Open, um, and I pitched Vibram, Aaron Alla recommended I pitch Vibram. They had just finished making a dog disc for their Vibram K9 side of things. Um, they make really good pet products, by the way. Um, and uh, and Kevin bought into the idea quickly and said, let's call the thing the Vibram Open. Um, the Vibram Open was born the following year. He said, we want to bring, they brought me on as a consultant to, uh, to help them sort of uh, map out how Vibram Disc Golf is going to be for the next three to five years. And, uh, and then this year, starting January 1st, they brought me on as a, as the sales and marketing manager. Right. So what a lot of people would consider a pretty sweet gig, and like you said, a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work. Disc golf jobs don't just appear out of nowhere or out of thin air. There's a lot of people that are doing a lot of things in order for those cards to fall as they may, and uh, you were very fortunate for that. Now you're known for your uh, creativity and some ingenuity, especially in your event, which you know, oh, which is what kind of led to fun. the whole Vibram Tell everybody at home, give give your pitch for your event and why people love it so much and why people should come to the event. I think the players love it a lot. Um, there's a lot of extra things going on. The $50,000 payout doesn't hurt. Um, I'd say those are the two things. We've got a lot of good staff. We have a great course, um, good sponsors. People come out and watch. Uh, people watch online. I'd recommend watching Vibram, VibramOpen.com. Uh, August 13th to 15th, come online, watch the thing live. There's going to be all sorts of live coverage. Um, what was your vision for just how, from growing that event to what it is? I, you, are you, Thanks for cutting me off there. I, was starting, I, I, I apologize. Was, no, I was starting to stumble. It was good. It was <laughs> no, good. you're welcome. Uh, I just want to know what your vision was because uh, obviously you didn't just you know open up with the biggest tournament that you had. It's it's grown, so where was your vision? Are you very sent? You're very focused on the pros, would you say, or I am taking it to the next level in terms yeah. of professionalism? Um, there, there are a lot of quality people working on the AM side, growing the base. Um, I think it's important uh, for, for those of us who have the skills to grow the pro side um, to go ahead and give all of the base something to watch. And hopefully someday we can grow to the point where 
mainstream media catches us, and once you're on ESPN for five minutes, boom, we go. So you talked about some of the games. You see some of them in the video, maybe without too much of a spoiler. Tell some people at home what kind of side games that they may be able to expect at the Vibram Open. Uh, I'm hoping we actually cover some of these on video. Uh, if you, I hope you'll be able to watch some of these live. Um, but we've, we've got the table tennis tournament. Um, we've got the accuracy and the putting and the driving contest and all the standard things. Um, table Talk Pies is uh, centered in Worcester, and uh, we like to see if people can eat a pie in 15 seconds. And uh, some of them can. Who are some of your best competitors for that event? Any hands-down uh, favorites? Nick Schneider is the hands-down favorite. Uh, Jay Redding and Avery Jenkins give him a run. But uh, I'd put my money on Nick every year. Excellent. Anything else you want to tell us about Vibram? We are sponsoring the uh, Players Cup this year. The Players Cup is a rebirth. DGA is helping us out there. Innova is helping us out. Edge, Latitude 64, a bunch of companies working together to, to regrow the, um, the, the Players Cup into a match play tournament. Sort of like Excellent. the NCAA bracket. you got 64 guys head-to-head. -head. Win, keep going. So what's really cool about that, just to touch on that for a second you guys are a company emerging company getting into disc golf but yet there's still synergy with all the other major manufacturers and players in the game we all realize I think at every level that disc golf's not just about one company one favorite sponsor or company right. it's really about everybody right. trying to be a little piece of the growth of the sport it, it is it, it, coming at it uh, I've been in disc golf for a long time you've been in disc golf a long time and it's important that we realize we're a small pond and we have to work together if we want this thing to grow. Excellent. Well, uh, we're in Marion, Ohio. Marion, Ohio. This is Steve Dodge of Vibram Disc Golf. Uh, the tip that we're going to give tonight, it's a pro tip, is if you're going to do a video blog, try not to do it in a busy parking lot where there is uh, professional disc golf clinics going on because you got a lot of background noise and whatnot. But without that being all said, we got to thank our cameraman, Scott Kesey, a DGA. He's out here along with Vibram and everyone else making this Am Worlds the best Am Worlds to date. We got to thank everybody. And uh, Steve, we appreciate everything you guys are doing over at Vibram. And that's all we got for you. So we I'm should, the Disc Golf Guy, and we should thank Terry and Lifetime Disc Sports, too. Oh, well, that's very generous. That's yes. not where I was going. But thanks, Steve. We'll catch you guys next time.